It's moving day for the 35 horses of the Greater Manchester Police Mounted Unit. They've spent the last four months living in temporary stables whilst their normal block was undergoing extensive refurbishment. Moving back will come as a welcome relief for stable manager Kim Bailey and groom team leader Anne Firth. It feels really, really good. <laughs> I think we've coped awfully well over there, considering the, what we've had to put up with. But uh, I think the horses have coped remarkably well. I've lost count how many times this horse has been moved since we've been in the temporary stables over here. Every time you come in, he's in a different place because he's done something naughty or kicked some boards out or bitten somebody or charged around. So, uh, but he is a very good horse, aren't you, really? Well, I think the horses, when they first came in, thought it was absolutely marvellous because they got lots of wood to chew, which they don't normally have the luxury of. Horses tend to like to chew wood. Um, they could also interact with one another over the top, which was great fun. And we had lots of um, injured noses and bitten things. And unfortunately, these stallion boards that had to go up in, in these stables down here were because Snodgrass and Fairfax, who's next door, decided to have a fight. Snoddy took his tongue out at Fairfax and Fairfax took the opportunity to try and bite it off, which left him with a very nasty wound that had to be stitched. Um, fortunately for Snoddy, he's that laid back that even when the vet sedated him to stitch it up, we didn't actually notice much difference in the horse. So. Um, but he healed very well and they're both fine. But I did actually catch them later on that day trying to do the same thing again. So, of course, he had to be moved and we set up this naughty corner where we could send these horses where they couldn't get to one another over the top. But um, We've also had problems because they're such big, strong horses, um, they've just literally knocked these stables to pieces. We also had one horse fall out of bed, which happens to be Paddy. He was having a sleep and just dozing, leaning on the front of his door. And he must have overbalanced slightly and put too much pressure on the door. And then the whole thing just collapsed and the horse fell out of his stable and landed in a load of splinters. Fortunately, he was fine, but it shook him up a little bit. Proper stables mean a return to dedicated stalls for grooming. Automatic waterers, so no having to fill up 175 water buckets every day. And lots more room for a lie down. Although horses are able to sleep standing up, they must lie down to reach the deeper REM stage of sleep. In the wild, lying down makes horses vulnerable to predators, so they will only do so for a couple of hours every few days. But here at the unit, because they have such a busy workload, after a good roll, they'll take a nap whenever they can. Now it means we can get things all back to normal, which makes the routine better. And at the end of the day, we'll have happy horses doing the job well. <laughs>